Trauma bonds, got close off of battle scores Equal pain, so we think it's equal game Same team, but it's different hearts Same goals, but it's different shots Thought we was winning the same Turns out you were just running me game Should've known, but I couldn't guess it It's a damn shame What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Hoop MCs Brought to you by myself, Hassan And my co-host, Nassim What's up, Nassim? What's up? How's it going this week? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, man. Yeah. Pretty sure <laughs> I don't it's know good. why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a stroke, but I recovered. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a lot to talk about, man. Obviously, um, biggest news this week was free agency starting uh, yesterday at five o'clock, and uh, a lot of crazy stuff happened, right? Yeah, uh, a lot of unpredictable things, honestly. Like, uh, I just didn't see like ninety percent of these moves coming, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's let's go ahead and start off somewhere, man. Um, what what are some some of the uh, most like notable player moves that happened that you thought, to your opinion? Um, I think the two L.A. Laker ones. Uh, I mean, they signed the the sixth man of the year and the the reigning or the runner up to the sixth man of the year. So that just literally only makes them better. Who's and the runner up? Lost. Hey, wait, what happened? Who was the runner-up? Uh, Schroeder, I think. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They also said, damn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So they yeah. got Harrell and, and Schroeder. So, I mean, yeah. I know they lost Avery Bradley, but, I mean, he's worth losing. For... But they got they got Wesley Matthews to, yeah. to cover that. Too. But, man, I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like that Montrez Harrell signing is a bit overrated, in my opinion. I know he was a six-man of the year, but I just feel like that's... I don't know. For some some reason, for some for some feeling inside of me, I, I feel like that it's not gonna be as big of an impact as we might think. Could be totally wrong. I just but, uh, yeah, no. But just because fine. I mean, who would you rather have on the court, Dwight Howard and Javale McGee or Montrezl Harrell? No. Oh, but that's another thing. They lost out on like some some depth on the bit uh, on the bigs, right? I mean, yeah. they only lost Dwight Howard. I think they picked up Javale McGee's option. Yeah. Or he picked up his option. I forgot if it was a team or player, but uh, I mean, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Like, um, I mean, I I haven't really looked into the Clippers five man lineups to see like if Montrez played a lot of four or five. If he played a lot of five and they were good, then obviously, yeah, I agree with you. It was a it was a really good signing. But if he was a four, I don't know how it's gonna mesh with, or I don't know how he did with him at the four with a with a big man i don't know if that's going to work out with anthony davis assuming that he's he resigns there yeah if, if he's in the starting lineup then i agree there will be problems but uh i honestly feel like he's just going to come off the bench and i'm sure he's okay with that yeah yeah uh, it'll be interesting to see what anthony davis does do you think it's like a foregone conclusion that he's back in la yeah i think so i think he's trying to do all these like hints or whatever just for extra attention but i mean at the end of the day we know he's staying yeah we'll see uh it'll be uh th- that would like open the door up for the west if he goes if he signs with uh somebody in the east holy crap like i i legit want i legit can't remember a time if that happens that the west would be super wide open because uh with with everything that happened yesterday there's a lot of teams that got weaker in the West who were up there, right? Yeah, I think Denver is probably the most notable one, honestly. Yeah, and the Clippers, honestly. Like, the Clippers losing, you know, Montrez, and then um, Rajon... Sorry, Rajon Rondo never played for them. But, uh, uh, no, I think so him funny. and J-, J-, J. Michael Green, yeah, so they lost uh, a couple of, like, good forwards. And, um, yeah, I mean... That that that's a pretty big loss, and considering that they're coming off a disappointing season, new a new head coach, so obviously there's you know there's that uphill battle that you got to climb. So I think uh, the Clippers and the Nuggets for sure, yeah, they took they took some pretty big hits. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you one team that didn't take a big hit yet, and it's the Houston Rockets, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I officially a- have my Christian Wood on right now. <laughs> That was the least enthusiastic let's go, baby, I've ever heard. Because <laughs> I already know I'm going to be disappointed at the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Watch uh, watch James Harden elect not to play. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll literally cry. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Um, obviously, the Houston Rockets is another uh, team that made some noise yesterday. Uh, they picked up Christian Wood. Uh, one person that I do feel bad for all of this is uh, Trevor Ariza. Yeah, that guy, that guy's getting tossed around like. <laughs> he was on five different teams in two hours, dude. Yeah, five? I don't. I, I thought it was three. It, but it was, oh, it was okay. like three or five. But it was within a couple hours. And I'm like, dude, Ooh, this guy's probably which, bought like houses all over the country. Which team is he on now? I think he he's finally in okay. OKC, see, but yesterday he was uh, yeah. definitely on Detroit and Dallas at one point. He was on Dallas too. I, if the, if so he's was, on his fourth team. If what Woj t- uh, tweeted was correct, then yeah, that he was on Dallas for like two minutes. <laughs> oh man, I feel like he's on pace to set a new world record in terms of how many times you get traded in one uh in one season. But he couldn't he couldn't he, house shop yesterday, dude. He what? Oh yeah, <laughs> he really couldn't, man. <laughs> His kid got enrolled in like five different schools. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that's going to be bad for his tax situation. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, there's no way OKC is keeping him. They're definitely... By the way, they're really starting to bug me. Like Sam Presti. Like, he's going to have a team filled with just picks in one season. and one, like, draft. He's going to have a whole 15-man lineup based off his draft picks. Yeah, they have the whole 2020 uh, high school uh the people who just graduated, they're all going to be on the OKC Thunder in five years. Yeah, for real. Um, I, I can't even... I don't even know who's on OKC anymore. Like, all I know is Shea, uh, oh, yeah. SGA is there, and uh, Dort. That's literally the only two guys that That's I know now need, who's on there. Steven Adams, gone. Gallinari, gone. Schroeder, gone. Chris Paul, gone. Literally just decimated their whole team. Wait, Gallinari's gone? Yeah, he signed with the Hawks. Who, by the way, he got a he got a. Oh, you didn't see? No. <laughs> Three years, uh, sixty million. Yeah, yeah, he got. Yeah, he got a pretty big payday. That's pretty and, good. Um, what's his name? Uh, another signing that caught me off guard was the uh, Gordon Hayward. Did you see that? Yeah, uh, I was reading that. Like in 2014, they wanted to do that, but Utah yeah. matched the offer, so now he's finally going there. Yeah. I think it's interesting. Well, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's a bad signing for Charlotte, but then again, nobody wants to sign in Charlotte, so I understand why you throw that much money at a player. Yeah. Um, I haven't really looked into his stats since he had that injury. Um, I think he was still with Boston when that happened, but when he like yeah. broke his foot. Um, but who knows? You know, with an expanded role, so a, play, a lot of players like come back stronger, so... Uh, yeah. We'll see, but Boston got weaker as well. Um, Miami's just throwing out money, like to anybody who picked up a basketball in their life. They have like uh, five rookie contracts who are actually starting in their lineup. So I mean, why not? Yeah, but I mean, for all this talk about like, oh yeah, they wanna they wanna get Giannis next off season, and Bam is gonna get paid. He becomes a free agent, so they're gonna throw money at him. And I think the same thing with uh, uh, Jimmy Neutron. What's his name again? Duncan Robinson. <laughs> Duncan Robinson. He becomes a free agent, so they're gonna for sure dip into the tax situation. Yeah, but I mean Tillman's not their owner, so I don't think they mind dipping into the tax. Honestly, Shay Throne. Huh? It's always safe throwing it to him. I'll never eat at, what is it, the golden nugget or whatever? <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, did you see their tax bill for uh, Golden State? My bad. Golden State's tax bill? No, I have. Well, I, isn't it like way over from what I saw? Oh, dude, uh, it's not a question of way over. Just just throw a figure at me. Guess how much they're going to be paying. Uh, 70 million. How much? 70 million. Twice that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's exactly twice that, but I think it's actually more than that. I think it's like, or maybe it's, it's close to double that. But yeah, uh, Tillman Fertetta actually retweeted that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know, man. This guy's he's probably it himself. <laughs> yeah, he's probably like, no, he's probably like, see, I'll never pay that money. I don't even know if that's how he talks, but <laughs> nah, he, <laughs> or he does, he does kind of talk like that, right? Yeah, he's huh? like, uh, I don't really know how to do it, but basically, if you see someone working at a barbecue restaurant, he pretty much sounds like that. Yeah, but um, yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. Poor guy, man. But good for the Rockets, you know? Good for, no. no. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what the Warriors do this season because, I mean, it's pretty obvious you probably won't be competitive again. Uh, you're just running it back with the same season like last season except you have Wiggins and Kelly, Russell. And they got Kelly Oubre. I mean, I guess, but he's not a Clay Thompson. No, he's not. But, I mean, like, he's not a scrub. He's actually pretty good. But, yeah, it throws off kind of their whole system in terms of, like, you know, being running off screens and shooting threes. They're they're definitely going to look different. I mean, they're going to make the playoff be a five seed or something like that. But that's what I'm saying. Like, the West is still open for the two seed. Like, I still think the Lakers are going to cruise by. Yeah. Like they did in the last uh, playoffs, but um, there's there's still a lot of optimism, I think, for other teams. Yeah, I, I refuse to bite on it as a Rockets fan until something happens with Westbrook or Harden. Yeah. Oh, um, speaking of Westbrook, did you hear about the whole John Wall wanting to uh, be traded? Yeah, I I think it's interesting, but I mean, like I mentioned, I think in our first podcast, I'm try I'm tired of running it back with all-star guard duos like i think we just need to give james Harden the backcourt with a solid role player and go for a superstar wing or a big and i know christian wood is kind of feels that but i don't want to have another two superstar guard duo again yeah on now that i think about it i feel like the only one and i'm just like talking out of my butt here but like the only success that's happened that i remember that i've seen is probably like golden state right can yeah, you can you recall can you recall any other team that's done that? I really can't. Like the for an extended period of time, no, because the closest thing is Harden and CP3 for the first season. But um, dang, so I, there has there really hasn't. I feel like you need like a wing or a big guy to be successful. Yeah, yeah, and obviously like with uh, Curry and Clay, like that's an anomaly. Those two guys are like the best shooters in the league. And you clearly don't have that with Westbrook and uh, Harden. So, uh, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how that uh, situation plays out. Obviously, that got a lot of news in the past couple of weeks. But yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see, man. Yeah. Uh, what What else do you remember? I, I think um, a couple of other related news. Um, I think Sergi Baca is still in play. Yeah. Uh, he posted Maybe. that picture. Would you still go for him if you're the Rockets? I mean, because the guy Christian would. I don't know if they can, like, yeah. in terms of their cap, their money situation, their financial situation. Um, some some guy, like, uh, I saw a tweet, and he was like, yeah, so uh, I saw that it was this airplane, and based off my research, they only had these two flights at this certain time. And so he was like, it was uh, Brooklyn or Dallas. Oh. And then uh, somebody retweeted it. And it was like, NBA Reddit stays undefeated or something like that. <laughs> well, I want to know how they have all this information, too. How do you know where someone's going based off the inside of the plane? No, he, I don't know. He he basically got the whole, like, name of that airline. It's obviously, like, a private airline. So, I, yeah. like, um, you're able to kind of, like, extract that information. I don't know. That, that, that just seemed kind of funny to me. But um, I, I think Dallas is probably going to end up getting him, to be honest with you. And Dallas, if they can get him, yeah. they're going to be pretty good. I'm not gonna yeah, like they're already yeah. good, but like having him just kind of pushes them even further. Yeah, him, uh, Porzingis, and Luca. That's going to be a nasty big three. That spreads so. the floor so much. Yeah. Did Dallas lose any depth from their guards? Or uh, oh, Curry. Curry. Yeah. Right. Did he get yeah. traded? He got traded, right? I think so. Oh, I'm they sure. got Richardson. I think out of the deal. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that's a pretty good... Um, they, I wouldn't say they necessarily took a hit, Dallas. Um, so, yeah, I think Dallas is going to be like a dark horse candidate this season. Yeah. Another move I wanted to talk about was Avery Bradley going to the Heat. Uh, I feel like it kind of helps them because you don't... No offense to Kendrick Nunn, but when he checked it in the finals, this guy was just looking for any shot rather than <laughs> playing with the system. So I feel like if an injury happens with Drogic again, you have... Uh, Avery, Avery Bradley, Bradley. Kind of moves yeah. the system more than Kendrick Nunn. Yeah, that's true. And um, speaking of the Heat, they also lost uh, Crowder. I don't know if you saw that, but he signed yeah. with uh, the Suns. So I don't think it's that big of a loss. 
I mean, he he was pretty good. Like he started, didn't he? Um, I think I, after all the injuries, yeah, he did. did okay. He? I, I I feel like he started as the four. I think he, he started as the four because Hero was the two, Drogic the one, Butler the three, and then you had um, Crowder as the four. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Um, can't but, think of anything else. Um, I'm trying to think. The Bucks, uh, they signed DJ Augustine. Yeah, they and um, yeah. I, I think they signed a, another big, but I can't quite put my name or put my tongue on his name. Is that a saying? But, put but, my tongue on his name? No, I've, I'm not, I've never heard of that in my life. <laughs> yeah, that sounded <laughs> sus. Okay. <laughs> um, Why are you licking him, dude? Why am I what? Why are you licking him? Licking my chops? No, licking the the dude. Oh yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, I like to lick players. Uh, yeah, I guess. But um, yeah. Uh, obviously, a lot of things are still happening. Like my phone is still constantly getting blown up because I turned on the notification alarms for yeah. Woj and uh, Shams. And my God, man, I got, like I got a notification every like two minutes. It's going crazy. It's four in the um, morning and they're still tweeting. Like, go to sleep, man. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I, do you think they get compensated? I feel like they have to. It's, it has to be like hazardous pay. Yeah, or is it just kind of like a like a competition? Like, oh, I'll show him. No, I, I would not go that hard for a competition. <laughs> this guy, Walsh, probably hasn't seen his family in three months. Yeah, dude. Somebody, like, please get his wife to him. She hasn't seen him, guys. Please. Um, all right. Well, I feel like uh, we we pretty much kind of gave a pretty good rundown of what had happened um, yesterday and today. But uh, we still obviously have a couple of names left on the board, as we mentioned. Um, Anthony Davis, Serge Ibaka. I think Rajon Rondo still in play. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, to say the least. Yeah. Uh, this next week, I feel like we'll tell a lot more than the past 24 hours did. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Big names all over the place. Yeah, and um, you said big names all over the place. And uh, obviously, I think from a trade perspective, I think there's still going to be a couple of moves left um, to be executed. But we'll see. Um, So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here for uh, episode three of Hoop MCs. We appreciate you guys listening. And as always, stay tuned. And we'll see you all next week. Take care, guys. See you later. Later. Trauma bonds. Got close off of battle scores. Equal pain, so we think it's equal game. Same team, but it's different hearts. Same goals, but it's different shots. Thought we was winning the same. Turns out you were just running me game. Should've known, but I couldn't guess it. It's a damn shame.